I'm gonna take this F450 frame and this body and this 12 valve Cummins and this manual six speed transmission to make the ultimate Ford dent side Cummins truck. My name's Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're back on the 79 crew cab dent side and we're gonna be trying to get things finished up to get it started. So hang tight, let's see what we get done today. The exhaust on this truck is basically going to be a combination of the F450 exhaust, that's the 99, and the first gen Cummins exhaust. Basically all we're using from the first gen is this downpipe, which we've already modified and re-welded. Uh, later on we're going to be wrapping that with some exhaust wrap because it is sitting really close to the starter. I don't want to burn the starter up because of heat. We're going to add a piece in there in between the 99 and the first gen stuff and then go from there. This is the exhaust out of the 99 F450. We gotta put a piece that goes in between here and here, and then a piece from the downpipe that goes, this is the downpipe, and so a piece from here to here. So let's get this measured first. We'll cut it, we'll flare it, and see how it fits. Uh, let's make it 17, and I'll flare the chin. Hopefully it's long enough. And then I make that, let's make it 17. So this is a exhaust pipe expander from Hubble Freight and uh, I, bought a, I bought a kit for my other truck for my 2000 Ford, a four inch exhaust and it's supposed to be just quick bolt on whatever but one of the pipes they hadn't expanded properly and this was I think it was a Saturday on a Sunday or whatever and so we had to run up uh, 30 40 miles up to the nearest Harbor Freight and buy this tool so we could expand that piece so it would actually fit on the truck. It was a pain. So yeah, I got this and uh, now we're going to use it again. So I guess that's good. I just don't know how, can't remember how it works. But we will figure it out. way too long so we got to cut one end off and start over okay I think we can work with that <laughs> this one's about 22 inches is this exhaust gonna sound cool or what? Uh, not really. It's got a giant muffler on it. Eventually it will. Eventually. Where's my glasses? Did I take them off? Did they fall off my hat? Where are my glasses? We got both pieces cut and flared. Now we're gonna see how they fit. We're gonna try to hold this up with a jack stand, kind of get it where it's supposed to sit. This is not gonna be the prettiest exhaust in the world, but uh, it's kind of a piece together or whatever, pieces that I had. It'll work for now. Eventually would like to do a four inch, um, at least a four inch all the way back, but that's a future thing when we have more money. I guess that thing's just gonna hang down a mile and that's the way it was. What do you think? It'll have to do. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this down pipe. This is just some leftover wrap I had from my headers on my Jeep. And uh, we're just gonna wrap this. There's some clearance issues between the starter and whatnot, so hopefully this will help a little bit. Hang on. That's from your Jeep? Yeah. How long has that, you, that been sitting around? 15 years. 15 years. See how good it is to hoard parts? Who knew? It's good to be a hoarder. It's good to be a hoarder. I don't have a hose clamp that's quite long enough, so I'm gonna put two together to hold this uh, exhaust wrap while we wrap it. Just a little bit easier to handle. This exhaust wrap, it came with some clamps. 
a long time ago that those clamps really sucked. I didn't like them and I wound up using hose clamps on my Jeep. It just works better. Or possibly I'm just not smart enough to run clamps. I don't know. Either or is possible. I think we got everything ready. The exhaust is wrapped. We're gonna go ahead and start tacking this together and see how it looks. Come on, board. It's a monsoon out here. So this here is a tailpipe. Um, I just cut it off and I pulled it out of the truck. So what I'm going to try to do is expand this out a little bit so it barely fits over the existing muffler pipe. And then I'll just weld it. Should be good to go. go ahead and slide this tailpipe over this axle and see how she fits. You have me a light. Oh, it's coming through. It's almost there. There we go. I got it. Now I gotta get out of here. Yeah. All right, we've got this tailpipe kind of where it's going to go. I got a little uh, carried away on expanding it. Going to have to fill in a little bit, no big deal. But uh, we're going to get this tacked up, see how she looks. All right, I'm happy with it. We got the exhaust all welded up. Looks good. I'm pretty happy with it considering I'm only in it like eight bucks and just the parts I had laying around. It'll do for now. Now we're going to move on to the steering. We're going to get that hooked up. Should be fairly quick, fairly easy. So let's get after it. First thing we're doing is pulling the masking tape off. We actually did kind of mask something off when we was painting this cab. Um, so we got to get this crap off so I can get to the end of the steering column here. <laughs> it's going to come off one little tiny piece at a time. We got the shaft cut shorter on this steering. So basically all we got to do is put this together if it'll fit. If I didn't cut it too short, <laughs> whoa, that was not good. Okay, let's split the difference here. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's looking good. This might be one of the simpler projects on this. Um, all this steering off of my previous setup basically fits pretty good so we just gotta had to shorten the shaft a little bit and throw everything together should be steering so when I put this together uh, for final assembly we'll drill some holes where all these set screws go at least kind of some guide holes so this can't slip off going this way and we'll Loctite everything really good so the steering doesn't come apart ever Especially going down the road, that would be very bad. This is just awkward. There's too much crap in the way. I guess I could turn the steering wheel. Now everything should turn. Oh, there we go. We're tight. Okay, we're going to call out a win for now on this. We will eventually finish it up, but for today it's good enough. I guess it's that time that it's time to make a list for the dance side. We're getting really close to starting this. But we need to uh, start making a list so we don't miss anything. So uh, we need fuel lines ran. Um, we need to finish brakes. We need to finish clutch. Uh, we need radiator slash coolant. 
We need motor oil. We need trans fluid. Oh, we need batteries, power. And that is all I can think of right now to make this thing run and drive. There's probably gonna be a few more odds and ends that we run into along the way, but this will be a good start. Forgot one, throttle cable. Feel free to uh, bleep, bleep, bleep bloop down below and tell me I spelled all this stuff wrong. That's a uh, quality, I won't tell you where, where I went to high school, but that's quality high school education right there. That's what that is. It's time to hook up the throttle cable. I just gotta find the parts. I have no idea where I put them. There's just a few parts I gotta put together, but gotta find them first. That's, that's not bad. Didn't label these. I don't know, have no idea what this is. Should have labeled these better. What I do there, Erica? That's a hub. Not that one. That's not your Mountain Dew box? Not my Mountain Dew box. Um, I don't think it's in the bed. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Not what we're after. I found my pieces. They were pretty well hid. <laughs> we got them. We dug them out. So yeah, we can go ahead and put the throttle together now. Should be good to go. So I think if I remember right, this is a low car throttle pedal setup and it's pretty slick the way it works. It has a lot of adjustment in it and stuff and you just kind of buy a general length and then you can trim it to fit. And this piece goes on first. I think so. I think if I go like this and like this. Put the washers on there. And this. Well, that thread was a little bit long, but. I guess it's better to be a little long than a little short. Alright, and this just goes, pops on there like that. And I don't remember how this goes. Very adjustable. Okay, pedal is to the floor. Okay, that's close enough for now. All right, I guess that's about all we're gonna get done for today. We did get a few things done, a few things we get to cross off the list. We get to cross off the exhaust, the steering, and the throttle cable. As you can see, we got a little ways to go, but we will keep after it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. The exhaust on this truck is basically a combination of the 99 F450 and the first jet. <gasps> <Cut. laughs>